Greetings, members one and all of the Salvation Nation. You may remember of some time ago I posted a video about how gold and platinum combine in a special way create the world's most durable alloy. Well, when Mr. Ninja, who was a very kind subscriber, sent me this article, before really reading the headline too much, I just assumed it would say, U.S. Develop new, develops new gold platinum alloy for military use, but no. It is the U.S. develops a new gold and silver alloy for military use. Let's explore. Scientists, this is from mining.com, with the U.S. Army Research Laboratory, the University of Maryland, and the Paulista State University in Brazil created a new gold-silver alloy with the idea of lightening the load and enhance the power of devices used by soldiers on the battlefield. In an article recently published in Advanced Optical Materials, the researchers explain how they are working on controlling the optical and plasmonic properties of gold and silver alloys by changing the alloy chemical composition. We demonstrated and characterized gold-silver alloys with tuned optic properties known as surface plasmon polaritons, which can be used in a wide array of photonic applications, David Baker, one of the authors of the paper, said. The fundamental effort combined experiment uh, and theory to explain the origin of the alloy's optical behavior. The work highlights the electronic structure of the metallic surface may be engineered upon changing the alloy's chemical composition, paving the way for integration into many different applications where individual me metals otherwise fail to have the right characteristics. According to the researchers, having discovered these properties allows them to optimize the optical dispersion and light harvesting capabilities of the alloys. This means that these materials can outperform systems made of individual elements like gold. The insights of the paper are useful to soldiers because they can be applied to a variety of applications including but not limited to photocatalytic reactions, sensing, detection, and nanoscale laser applications, co-author Joshua McClure said. When tuned properly, the integrated alloy materials can lead to reductions in the weight of energy harvesting devices, lower power requirements for electronics, and even more powerful optical sensors. As a follow-up to this work, the scientists are now looking at other metallic alloys and anticipate that their combined experimental and computational approach may be extended to other materials, including non-metallic systems. Uh, pretty interesting indeed. This is uh, the two scientists here, David Baker and Dr. Joshua McClure, post at their lab. Very interesting indeed. Fascinating to see how gold and silver are being used in such a material as this for optical, uh, advanced optical materials. Let's see. Um, I wonder if this article has, if we can access it, see what it says. It's an abstract, so it's pretty, pretty in depth, and probably doesn't tell us, uh, or probably doesn't have all of the different uh, uh, aspects in this thing. And it doesn't look like it's opening up for us, but uh, more than likely, something like this. It's going to be very technical. And it will cover a myriad of different things of the science. It looks like it's a pretty big here thing here. We'll kind of just scroll through this thing and see uh, if we have capability to go to pages. I don't think it's going to allow us to go to different pages. Uh, this is a different layout. But anyways, nonetheless, it's fascinating indeed um, that this is there. And published and you know you look at the what this talking about how the optical nature you know silver is the most re reflective uh, metal out there and gold is probably the most stable metal out there so you can combine both of those it certainly can you can understand how that could be um, very valuable with these military technologies to be reliable and I think that's what it's about it's about reliability reliability and just as just as you see here with a uh, silver being the best conductor um, 
It does tarnish, but there's ways to protect it. Maybe this is one of those ways that with gold, and gold is a misstable. Um, both of them combined with their intrinsic and unique properties. I think this is a metaphor, folks, a metaphor for why we accumulate both gold and silver. Because it's not just the history behind them is being used as money for thousands of years, both of them, especially silver, but it's also uh, some of the chemical properties and the atomic uh, layout and makeup of these, of these uh, precious metals that are unsurpassed and uh, take their technologies and to be able to look at other metallic alloys and anticipate that their combined experimental and computational approach can be extended to other materials. But the thing is, and that's great if they can do that, but nothing will really replace gold and silver for specific um, uh, task, and I think the powerful optical sensors is one as such. So, an interesting article. Thanks again to Mr. Ninja for sending this along to me. Fascinating indeed. Hope you enjoyed. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching, and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.